Hey, you guys hear about the, uh, that abandoned house? Oh, yeah, I, I heard about it, but, uh, isn't it dangerous? There's, like, crackheads and stuff there. No, man, it'll be cool. Like, we could go there, check it out, and if it's, if we like it, we could throw a party. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a good idea. We should, we should go check it out. Wow, just look at this place. Isn't it great? Perfect. Perfect for a party. Perfect hangout. I don't know. It kind of smells like cum here. Oh, it's perfect. I'm gonna call all of our friends up, and we're gonna have the most bitchin' fucking party of 2020. Just you wait. Just you wait. I'm an asshole who eats shit for breakfast. Ooh. For me, painting has always been, like, part of my life. Like, a big part. To say it's just been a hobby would be an understatement. I started painting when I was 10 years old, and I think when it was 12 or 13, I started painting my sister's Barbie dolls, and then when I was 14 or 15, I decided to paint myself, and I experimented with drag for the first time, and I loved it. And that's where I've been ever since. So, Miss Tara Ryzen's gone, but she left her journal. I'll go ahead and read it. <laughs> oh, everyone's getting mad. <laughs> Don't you want to know her secrets? She might have been talking shit on us. Why is everybody getting so mad? Honestly, it's a little grating that the other girls are getting so upset at me, clutching their pearls about me reading Tara's journal. Because honestly, they all know good damn well that they would do the same thing if the opportunity presented itself. I am over the double standard and the hypocrisy in this challenge. Notice that Crow already had her outfit done. It didn't take me long to whip one up for my own because I had a bunch of ideas tucked away. The book itself is important, but you have to look good when you give the presentation later to the judges. If you look like shit, then your presentation is going to be shit. And every time I move the mouse, it lags and freezes, so that is amazing and awesome, and I just love it so fucking much. Hello, little girl. Do you mind if I help you? I assure you I'm not a pedophile or anything. You're weird. Oh my god. <laughs> no! God, you crazy bitch. Uh -uh.
damn it. Oh, run along now, child. Get out of here, you little shit. Asshole. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure I'm not going deaf because, you know... Is someone throwing punches at me? Fucking cunt Constantinos. Yeah, that's what you get! You little shit. Want me to... sure this year will be much better than Do you want me to massage those gams, baby? That's funny. He's gay. Hey, baby. Hey, stud. Do you want to bend me over and fuck me? I hope you can still hear my voice alright. This new headset's like really... Baseball bats aren't even here. I'm gonna beat your head in. I'm gonna fuck your mom. Why would you do that to yourself? Around here, I just know it. I'll hang on to that. Oh, you're smoking, huh? Let me put that out for you. You little shit. Let a real man show you the ropes. Let me show you this. You're fired. Yeah. Firecracker. Firecracker, baby. Firecracker, firecracker, baby. There's a song that goes like that. It's like, I'm a firecracker, baby. No! Ah! Yeah, just because you're fat, huh? You'll never get me! I'm going to beat you now. You're not gonna do shit, you pedophile! Yeah. That's what you get. Nothing. I'm the queen of this castle. Destroy everything. No fun ever. <laughs> 